Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the Water Filter eStore in the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about troubleshooting an Aquamaster High Efficiency Water Softener. Now these water softeners are extremely reliable, last a long time, but there may be a situation sometime in the future where you notice there's a blank display. And that's what we're talking about troubleshooting today. So let's check the obvious first. So is it actually plugged in? So it plugs into a transformer and you have to make sure it's seated all the way in. Okay, so also check the other end. So the other end needs to be plugged into um, an outlet that's not switched. In other words, there's no time when a, a switch would be on or off because a water softener has to be plugged in all the time. The next thing to check to see if it, is if the transformer is defective or not. You can test the transformer to see if it's the problem with a sim simple uh, voltage tester like this one here. So all we do, just that in there and that in there. And you can see it's reading about 14 volts and that's what it should read, somewhere between 10 and 14 volts. If that's the case, then um, the transformer is fine. If it's not the case, then you need to replace the transformer. If the transformer checks out and you still have a blank display, then you'll need to replace the controller. But before you do that, just one more thing you can check and that is anything above 120 degrees Fahrenheit, the display will blank out. It'll still work fine, it's just the display will blank out. So just double check to make sure uh, that isn't the situation for you. Going forward, I definitely recommend you plug all your electronic water treatment equipment into a surge suppressor like this one. It will protect the equipment from potential problems from those hydro spikes we get from time to time and make it last a lot longer. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all the new videos they become available on this channel. If you'd like some more information, you can go to our websites, either thewaterstoremidland.com or thewaterfilteresTore.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.